It's easy to pick out the things in life that matter most, but keeping those things organized can be a real problem. That's where Tanya Tomlin, professional organizer and founder of Sort It Out, and Nicole Arnold, interior designer and founder of Nicole Arnold Interiors, come in. Between Tanya's passion for organizing and Nicole's eye for design, there's no telling how much a little structure and a lot of spackle can do. Welcome to Savvy, Wise, and Organized. And now, your hosts, Tanya Tomlin and Nicole Arnold. Hi, welcome back. I'm Nicole Arnold. I'm here with my co-host, Tanya Tomlin, and we are excited to, to present to you today our guest, Justin Murphy with iCoach Nutrition. Welcome, Justin. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. I'm, uh, I'm so excited to be on the show today. Yeah. Hey, we all need to learn more about nutrition, right? I know. So, especially my with the goodness. holidays and everything. Oh. So that's right. prime time for poor eating habits, right? <laughs> right. This is, well, it's the time of the year that, you know, we all kind of like put this guilt on ourselves. And I'm like, guys, Thanksgiving's one day. Yeah. Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, that's two days. Like yeah. New Year's Eve, that's five days out of, so it's five days. The holidays are five days, not necessarily three months. Right. right. That's so right. true. Put it in perspective, right? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Tell us how you got started with iCoach Nutrition. Yeah. So, um... Well, taking it way, way, way back, um, I actually started, I've been in like the nutrition and fitness field for like almost 10 years now. Um, it started when I was 18 years old. Okay. I had come back from playing college football uh, my first semester in Kansas, and cool. I was the kid in high school who was like, I can't wait to get out of my hometown. You know, I, I want to get out of here, and, and I go to Kansas, of all places. <laughs> and I realized that, you know, the DFW is not that bad. Yeah. Um, so after one semester, I was like, I'm out of here. I came back, started going to school at Collin College. Um, at that time, I started doing personal training at 24-Hour Fitness. Um, kind of did that for three or four years, and then started getting into the CrossFit space. Okay. Um, so I coached CrossFit. I competed in CrossFit. The CrossFit games that you see on TV, I never made it to that, but I made it to the regionals, which were, like, cool. right below that. Oh, very neat. So that was, like, you know, the top 20 out of, like, 30,000 people. Wow. Wow. That's so a that impressive. Was, effect. Yeah. 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 That was my life for, for like, five years. Yeah. Um, and so through that time I was in school, I was finishing up my nutrition degree, um, and then from there, I just started the company where, this is month 10. Oh, wow. So, so it's a new business for it's, you. It's super okay. new. Yeah. We started off um, as Justin Murphy Nutrition, and then we just transferred over into iCoach Nutrition, like literally just a month ago or so. Oh, that's okay. So um, cool. We, yeah. I started just myself, and now it's, it's, I have me, I have two other registered dietitians on staff, an admin, a videographer, and um, a Longtime client that's helping us with all the accounting stuff. So it's been crazy. I never in a million years would have thought that this all would happen in eight, nine months, but I'm just so humbled and grateful and thankful. And now I have a, a little one on the way, as I, oh, as I shared with y'all. That's so, yeah, exciting. that is. That, that news was found out two months after I started the business. Oh, Ooh. boy. Yeah. Bit of a shock. Uh, definitely a, a surprise. Especially yeah. when you're self employed now, right? It, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, but, you it's know, okay. when, when I'm working every day and I have a sonogram staring at me, oh, you know, if that doesn't motivation. Motivate That's motivation. You, I don't know yes. what does. Yeah. <laughs> yes. For you sure. must succeed. Exactly. Well, what, what types of services yeah. do you provide to your clients? So we, it's nutrition coaching on the surface. Um, I what always does that joke. Mean? Well, I joke because you know we're a nutrition coaching company, but it's so much deeper than nutrition, right? I'm sure. Like, yeah. Most people are like, oh, what do you just tell people what to eat? And I'm like, mm. when we go through the assessment process, we're taking people all the way back to childhood, because a lot of issues that arise stem from childhood. So it's okay. like nutrition therapy. It's, ah. it's it, it really is, yeah. yeah. And, like nutrition and, therapy. And so we, instead of just uh, saying nutrition coaching, we actually yeah. changed it into nutrition and lifestyle coaching. Okay. Um, because we dive into everything. It's not just nutrition. Like we're diving in, we, we like to talk about like these four pillars, right? And so body, being, balance, and business. And so, you know, we might start off with your nutritional goals, but we're really trying to make you into a better person and, like, allow, help you to live your best life. Mm -hmm. Do you so, work with families, like the whole family? Um, so we've never worked with families, but we, mm -hmm. have, we work with couples all the time. Mm -hmm. and, and we love that because, obviously, if you have one person in the household that's trying yes. to work on something, you the know. Support. Yeah. The support. The support's huge. Support, How many yeah. times have you tried to do something, and if the spouse isn't in the same 
yeah. wait on the same wavelength. It makes it right. so much harder. We talk about yeah. environment versus willpower, yeah. right? right? And so that environment, your family, like that's a huge component of whether or not you're going to be successful. Well, I'm just thinking, you know, um, well, I work with a lot of families that, you know, it might not be just, you know, the individual I'm working with, but the whole family needs to be on board, you know, with their lifestyle of eating right. because then it's harder for everybody else. You know what I mean? It's yeah. hard. It is hard. And I, I mean, you know, I don't, I don't have kids yet, but I grew up in a household, you know, like I had yeah. told y'all, I grew up in a household where I was an only child until I was eight, and then my parents had three kids. So I kind of had to grow up really <laughs> fast and become like, my dad was always gone working. My mom yeah. was a stay-at-home mom, but my mom needed a lot of help. And so, it, you know, it, it is extremely hard. And I don't have kids yet, but I can kind of talk about, like, my experience as being an older brother. Um, and I get the question all the time. People are like, well, you know, what's your philosophy on, like, nutrition for kids and mm -hmm. things like that? And so it's a very interesting conversation. What you know? is yeah. your philosophy? Yeah, what is your philosophy? I'm interested you know, in my, my philosophy is that I, first off, I'm, I want to lead by example more than anything. Because, as we all know, kids watch what they do. Yes. Right? And so I want to make, I want to make the kitchen a place like it used to be back in the day. Right, like these days, most people they're not cooking in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. They're eating out for the majority of their food, so mm -hmm. therefore they're not cooking the majority of their food. And so I really want to I want to make the kitchen a place that's like fun. I want to turn on music. Like I want to get them involved. Okay. I want I want to teach them how to cook, and I want them to I want them to look at nutrition as something as like, hey, I love eating healthy mm -hmm. because like I get to fuel my body. And I never want it to be a situation where it's like oh, I can never have candy or, or yeah. this or that. Like, I don't want to create a negative relationship with yeah. food. Um, I always want it to be a positive thing. But, yeah, I want to make the kitchen a place that's fun fun, and, mm -hmm. and, and engaging. And, like, we have we cook dinner at home and, like, we, we bring the kids into it and they're part of it. Um, so that's really where I want to go with it. Um, you know, we're, like, with baby food, for instance, like, we're going to make our own baby food. Like, it's really not that's that cool. hard, you know, like, you actually end up saving money if you do it. Yeah, um, probably a better product, yeah, quality-wise. I would, I would argue, yeah. And I'm sure there's, you know, there's, of course, there's good products that you can get. Right. But, sure. Um, but you know exactly what's going into that jar. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And I do believe what you put in your body, you know, does make you feel better, you know, energy-wise, when you're sleeping, good. Mm -hmm. Whole quality of life. Whole, well, yeah. And... Um, just in, I know in our home, my husband was a pescatarian for three years. Okay. Now he's reintroduced meat back into, you know, his diet. I'm like, well, this is really cool. We don't have to cook two meals every day. Yeah. You know, so two different things. But, um, you know, so when you're working with somebody, you know, I guess walk us through what that, I mean, do you go through the yeah. fridge? Do you go through the pantry? Do you go through all the cupboards and just kind of feel out, like, you know, what are they eating right now? How, what are their goals, I guess? Well, so a, a kitchen makeover. Uh, yeah. well, so first off, what we do, we actually work with everybody remotely. So it's all online. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, so cool. we actually, we don't do anything in person at all. Um, but in, in terms of the kitchen makeover, what we do have the ability to do because of this amazing virtual world yeah. is, you know, if somebody's struggling, like first off, grocery shopping, that's a huge skill that most people don't have and, and okay. we help to develop. Um, cooking, meal prepping. And so what I can do is I can say, look, like if I want to start with a, with a client and I know that like through our assessment, I know that that needs to be something mm -hmm. that's going to be addressed, they can FaceTime. So when we set up our, our consultation call, maybe we'll just FaceTime and our FaceTime is doing a kitchen makeover. Mm -hmm. Our FaceTime is with them at the grocery store. Our FaceTimes with them oh, troubleshooting so through cool. yeah. meal prep. Yeah. Well, so and now with online shopping, I mean, I know... I do a lot of my grocery shopping online, so yeah, I mean absolutely. that could be an easy call. I, yeah, I mean, it, it all just depends on the client and and really just meeting them where they are, right? Mm -hmm. But I sure. mean, there's some people that like, mm -hmm. you know, maybe they're just extremely busy, mm -hmm. and like where we're interacting or, or what that initial assessment led to was, mm -hmm. hey, I don't have time to cook, I don't have time to do this, whatever, fine, I don't mind spending the money, perfect. So I'll build them out their whole entire snap kitchen you know, weekly meal prep. And they just go to Snap Kitchen, they pick up pick all their up. meals. We know all, you know, all their numbers and all oh, that wow. type of stuff. And, you know, they can just do that. I That's just have to... so easy. Oh, my That's gosh. so easy. It, yeah. it, it, is, it is easy. I always just have to remind them, though. I have to say, look, like, 
are you going to do this for the rest of your life? <laughs> right. Right. Because yeah. if you're not, then habit I do change. need it's 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 habit change, and yeah. and I need to I need to make sure in our time working together that you have a very good education, and and I equip you with the tools to be able to grocery shop efficiently. Yeah. On your own. Yeah. On your own. Right. Your own. That's Cut so the true. cord at some point. So yeah. I think. So would you say that that's what makes you different? Is you know that more you know customized game plan for each person like if you want to do grocery shopping we'll do this if you want to do meal plan or go to you know would that is that something that, that sets you apart yeah absolutely and that's where like i so like an like an iphone right that's where okay. i coach them from oh, okay. so the, the lowercase i that stands for individualized coaching okay right and so that is what we're different in. Oh. like we're the farthest thing from hey here's a meal plan good luck or yeah. hey here's some template good luck what we want to do is we want to meet you where you are and we want to help to take you to where you want to be. And so if you need help with grocery shopping, if you need help with, you know, meal prepping, if you need help with, you know, getting organization in your life, if you need help with like time blocking, if you need help with like the psychological side of everything, I mean, there's so many different components that we could dive into. Right. It just all stems from that initial assessment process. And then as we start to kind of reverse engineer the process, like wherever their goal is, we reverse engineer that so that we can set up goals along the way until we actually reach that point. So interesting with design too and organization, how it all kind of like whenever your environment around you is pretty and it's happy, it's warm mm -hmm. and opening, it's organized, then you can move towards a you know meal planning or personalization. It's and the environment. All, yeah, it's the environment. Yeah. I mean, that makes such, it just, clicks really well yeah Absolutely. when you have a well-designed kitchen and you can cook well and yeah. not be bumping into everybody and get to the fridge and get to things yeah. and you know there's I, I throw out vegetables in my fridge on a weekly basis I hate to admit <laughs> that but I do because I yeah. forget they're in there yeah. Yeah. and so just doing that meal prep or being a little more organized I bet would yeah. help me a ton well I know when we redid our kitchen last year I felt like happier being in my kitchen and we actually were families we cook every night we don't eat out. I don't even remember the last time we ate, ate out to dinner. Maybe I think it was date night. But we're very big on cooking and being at home, and we sit down for dinner every night. Nice. And that's one of the things that I think being organized and having that pretty place, I could probably learn a lot more about how to shop better, looking at labels and things like that. But I think it's just such an important part of, you know, being together. Yeah. You know? it's, a, yeah. it's, I mean, you're doing it right. Like that's, I it's love it though, because we eat uh, so much better, but I'm sure we probably could be preparing things, you know, differently to kind of change. I think I get stuck in a rut of what I make for dinner. I make the same stuff. And sure. so I think that I could probably benefit from changing it up. So yeah. any tips on how to, you know, where to go to find how to change up your meal planning? Yeah, absolutely. So Basically, like when we first go through the assessment process, mm -hmm. like we try to identify, you know, when I first take somebody through an assessment, I could probably tell you 50 things that you need to change. Right. But the reality of it is, is that like this isn't the only thing that you have to focus on. We all have the rest of our life. Right. And yeah. so what we try to do is we try to say, hey, like, let's identify like your biggest issue, your biggest problem, the biggest thing that's holding you back. And let's start with that one right. thing. But if, if the biggest issue was, you know, variety, variety meals, yeah. then, you know, absolutely. There's, there's actually, there's amazing, you know, recipes that you can go and find online. Fitmancook.com. I love his mm -hmm. stuff. Okay. PaleoOMG.com. Mm -hmm. Fedandfit.com. Those are like my three favorites. You're, okay. That's um, good resources. For sure. So, yeah, for but, sure. But being the... more, you know, going more into the application side of it, it could be as simple as, hey, every time you go to the grocery store, just... Maybe don't get the same exact protein sources and the same vegetables and the same fruits. Yeah. Maybe get one new thing. One That's new, a great tip. One new yeah. meat or one new fish or yeah. one new vegetable each time and uh -huh. just try to switch it up in that regard. Because mm -hmm. most people think they, they have to go try a new recipe. And, you know, let's be honest, most of these recipes on the Internet are like, it's like a 45-minute process. Yes. And oh most of us goodness. don't have time for that, you know. Yeah. Like, I want to I wanna teach you how to make five awesome meals that you enjoy that you can make in 10 minutes just sauteing up when you get home after a long stressful day yes. from work like that's that's the application that I want to teach because you know we all can be perfect mm -hmm. when we have the time mm -hmm. right we all can do the 30-day challenge mm -hmm. right but I want to see you do that for the rest of your life it right? saves you time too don't you think if you have 
I you know, think different, so. yeah. you know, like you said, I want to, you want to teach how to prepare, you know, five different things. We well, can switch it up, but it's going to save you time because you can make it, you know, five different ways. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Planning, I mean, so cool. I think the, just the power of planning ahead and setting yourself for, up for success. Mm-hmm. Do you do That's anything right. with your, um, <laughs> do you do anything with physical fitness type coaching? Yeah, in so this, we, do, is it all food based? We don't, um, we don't like write training programs for people or anything like mm-hmm. that, but we absolutely have the conversation with exercise. I mean, that's a huge component. We talk about kind of like the, the, the five rocks, if you will, right? Mm-hmm. So the big rocks are <laughs> sleep, food quality, food quantity, hydration, and exercise. Okay. And so those five things, like if we're if we're putting those things into place and being consistent with good lifestyle habits in those areas, mm-hmm. like that's going to cover the foundation for most stuff. For sure. So with sleep, for example, like I see so many people that you know are getting five six hours of sleep every night, mm-hmm. or they're having issues waking up throughout the night, or or issues even falling asleep, mm-hmm. right? And like you know, mm-hmm. sleep is one of the it's it's one of the most important components of this whole process. It sure is. And it's free. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you don't have to pay for it. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's free. Everyone yeah. comes to us. What supplement yeah. should I take? How much? How much are you sleeping? Six hours. Mm, we should probably start there. Yeah. Right. Um, and then going into food quality, like the easiest yeah. example there is just, hey, are you cooking the majority of your food? Mm-hmm. And and obviously, is it like whole, like minimally unprocessed foods, or is it just like you know, I grew up on frozen dinners, like frozen lasagna and McDonald's and Taco Bell. I mean, that was my childhood. Yeah. Um, which obviously is a big part of why I do what I do. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then the quantity side of things, like most people, they have no idea how many calories mm-hmm. they're taking in, yeah. right? They've never That's for sure. calorie counters. Yeah. They, they've never weighed. They've never weighed their food. And they've never mm-hmm. logged their food. Um, the exercise component we go into, right. and then the hydration, it's like twofold. If you're staying hydrated, you're also not consuming too much alcohol. So it's yeah, kind of like for a, sure. Uh, it's like a balance between all of that. Yeah. And food. Sometimes yeah. if I think I want more food, I'll go and get like a glass of water and put a little cranberry in it or something, and it makes me not hungry anymore. Oh, that's so, so interesting. Yeah, just so sometimes we just that. don't drink enough. Mm-hmm. So we have about two minutes left, so I just want to you know, learn, how, how do we find you? So for all the people yeah. that are watching, you know, how do we find you and get all these awesome tips and tools? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we're on, if you go to our website, it's iCoachNutrition.com. Okay. Um, we're, Little I, capital C. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right, right. Yeah. right. If you, well, if you search it on Google, you can have the lowercase C. That yeah. was just yeah. for Facebook, I think. Yeah. Um, but we're on Facebook and Instagram as well. Yeah. Um, so my personal page on Instagram, it's Justin Murphy underscore iCoach. And then we also have iCoach Nutrition. Um, and then on Facebook, it's Justin Murphy, and then also we have iCoach Nutrition. Um, but yeah, you can go to our website. We actually just wrote our first ebook. Um, oh, so great! Congratulations! Congratulations. Thank you so yes. much. Yeah, I was What's super naive before I uh, got into that. But um, <laughs> what's so, the name of the book? So it's called iCoach Nutrition: The Blueprint. Okay. Um, simplifying nutrition to help you live your best life. Awesome. Oh, very good. So it's yeah. it's 125 pages of like I tell people if you read that and you put it into place like you shouldn't even have to hire a coach unless you need the accountability. Yeah. Yeah. Because I just gave you all my best stuff, all the information you need to be successful. Just remember, though, the magic's in the application. Yeah, right? yeah. Right. that's so that great. That accountability is so important. Yes. Well, yeah. and speaking of getting what we want out of the show, we're just so grateful for your tips and the tools and being able to have this great resource. And yeah. thank you so much for all of our viewers, again, watching. Uh, every Tuesday, we so appreciate you tuning in, and just Nicole and I are just so happy to be able to to do this with you. Yes. Well, thank you for joining us. Yes. Thank, thank you. you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. I'm sure we could probably talk for like five hours. I know. I know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening to Savvy, Wise, and Organized. To find out more about Tanya or how she can help you organize your space, visit her website at www.sortedout.com. To find out more about Nicole or how she can help you with your interior designs, visit her website at www.nainteriors.com. And if you want to hear more from Savvy, Wise, and Organized, subscribe, rate, and review on your favorite podcast platform. From all of us at Savvy, Wise, and Organized, thanks for listening. Thank you.